the last two months it been like the class it wasn't the same every day i look at the picture on the back of the wall and i see and we look at black dust and black still ain't up and you know we you know we can't bring them back but then in our minds we still wish like before black gone we was right here skylocking in the class you know me him xavier but now we can't have those days no more so you know whoever do that to wensley I just like to see him and ask him why and why they choose Wensley, why they killed Wensley because he didn't deserve that. My boy should have still been here. The unified effort to campaign for the capture of Wensley's murderer was shown not only by his family, but also classmates and members of one of his extracurricular activities, a sign language group from the Blue Hill Seventy Adventist Church, who through a written statement told News 4, quote, we want justice. We want it now. We need to close this chapter of our lives, and we cannot do so unless we know what is going on. Wednesday's sister, Woodland, added, quote, I really feel that this situation can be dealt with if the police would only try to be more open and tell us, the family, what they really know. The pain is still fresh in the minds of the students of Wensley's fourth form homeroom at the Clement Howell High School. Many are still too shocked and hurt to even speak of the incident. Memorabilia, notes on the walls, on the blackboard, a poster hanging in his honor, and his desk sitting at the front of the room all serve as reminders of the young man who classmates all say was a good friend. These students now in return are pleading for justice for their friend. How you can kill somebody who don't trouble nobody, huh? You don't trouble nobody, man. He's a cool person. Everybody love him, but y'all can just come and take his life away, and y'all can be walking on the streets like nothing happened. No way to lie. I like to see the persons who did that go to jail. I like to. I like justice because Black was a good friend to everyone. He brought laughter in our life. Whenever we were down, he made us laugh. The students told News 4 that they are coping with their friend's death one day at a time, but it isn't easy, and they plan to take Wensley's memory with them throughout the remainder of their high school years and beyond. This that's going up, and we go upstairs and we reach fit for him. You see that picture on the one right there? The whole class made that and write a little something on that what they really think thought about Wensley. And, you know, we told them how much we loved them all night, because, you know, we ain't had a chance to tell them because we didn't know it was going to happen to him, but still. We hold in for him still and we can keep this that so that's even when we come with a school. Meanwhile, police representatives say that the case is still being investigated. Wensley's body was found by a neighbor in the vicinity of Boyard in Q-Town on April 12th. Police reports later revealed that he died of a gunshot wound to the left side of the stomach. His death was ruled a homicide. Anyone with information surrounding Wensley Joseph's murder is asked to contact police immediately at 911-999 or 946-4259. For WIV4 News, I'm Joy Del Trail.